one of the defining characteristics of games from Looking Glass uh, and all the games that were influenced by Looking Glass's games uh, is that they don't depend on scripted sequences to drive player experience. Most other games, even to this day, uh, actually rely on designers crafting clever puzzles, even puzzles that have multiple solutions at times. But what Looking Glass did was really pioneered um, the idea of creating simulated environments uh, where players are given a, a small set of tools that have logical uh, uses and the world responds to that tool use uh, in logical but not pre-planned ways. We now have uh, the tools and the, uh, the computing power uh, to create simulations that are much, much deeper. Uh, we have uh, approaches to AI uh, that we, we've barely scratched the surface on. Uh, I think a big part of what's coming in the future is not just deeper simulation of the world, but deeper simulation of character interactions. Um, both on an individual level, interacting with one character can be improved dramatically just by devoting time and energy to uh, more robust AI. But when you take that one step further and start talking about factions, the dwarves hate the elves, um, so who are you going to side with uh, as they both buy for control over a space, for example? Um, individual behaviors lead to uh, interesting interactions. Factional behaviors lead to inter in interesting choices. Uh, and the more we do of that, the more we stretch ourselves to do that, I think the richer our game experiences are going to become.